Yo, what is up, everybody? This is Fall of Desire. I explain you one of my awesome favorite games that I got from the internet, Sunny. Today, it's produced by Armor Games. Well, developed and published by Armor Games, but the person who made this is probably pretty cool. I mean, to create one of my favorite games out there is actually there. Oh, I've actually played this game before, so that's the name of my first alias before well my favorite alias alias to put in is 450 well subzero 50 but I'm gonna put in my name's 450 Cyrix and to put it at the second slave save state now I'm gonna tell you the different classes all by difficulties destroyer guardian assassin and gunslinger now destroyer is probably the easiest to choose is a physical melee class specializing in strength and endurance you can play as a defensive survival or offensive character. That's pretty the easiest thing you can do if you be a destroyer. Because it's the noob difficulty. But uh, I'm gonna actually play the noob difficulty just to show you how good this, or how good this game is. Now Guardian is a hybrid class based on both magic and physical strength. The Guardian is a very hard survivability and offers many different playstyles. This is one of the best classes you can ever do. Because it's balanced, it's normal. Assassin is a physical melee class with high speed and high burst damage, but low health. This is in hard difficulty mode, and Gunslinger is a magic based class that can deal massive damage with deadly spells and abilities. The Gunslinger, however, has very low health. This is more like very hard or extreme mode, just to, just to let you know. But I already told you I'm going to play the Destroyer as a destroyer class and it's probably the easiest one as a noob because you can have they call much me of those. I'd like to tell you more about myself, but I can't. I don't even know my real name. It all started a year ago. On that dreadful ship. I'll never forget the ship. Oh okay. I died there. But somebody brought me back. Wake up, Sonny. Let's hope you're not too far gone. <sighs> Sonny? Hey, would you look at that? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Come on, let's move. We need to get off this ship. Who are you? I'm Lewis, just a friend. Can you walk? Uh, yeah. You'll need a weapon. Grab something. Well, uh, how about this pipe? Sounds fine. Take it. This way. <sighs> I may be blind, but there's no mistaking that smell. Can you take him out? Yes, I, I suppose I can. Ah, I don't feel too well. It'll wear off eventually. You need to focus. Notice the gray ring in the lower middle panel around the exclamation mark. Yes, I do. Wait until it turns blue. Once the ring is blue, click on the enemy to target him. <clears throat> Your abilities will appear around him. All right. Now, looking at the enemy, and I have the blue ring on, I can just attack whatever I want. So, I just click on him, look at the quick strike, and just attack the fucking enemy. Now that thing is actually not for him, it's a suppression it's a suppression ability. So here I can just quit fucking strike but... Oh he's he... he doesn't look too happy. He's enraged. You'll have to defend yourself. Get ready. Target yourself instead of the enemy this time, so you can use your defensive ability. To find out more about an ability, hold your mouse over its icon for a couple of seconds. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm gonna look at myself first, but I'm looking at this ability, Enraged. Increases damage of this unit, so yeah, it, it can be a little pissy at times, so it's... Yeah, it can increase its damage by 400%. So, Suppression, I can reduce my damage for 7% of the time. And that's that. Good job, Sonny. Keep going and stay alert. There'll be more of them ahead. Yeah, yeah oh, 70%, my bad. 70, not 7 <laughs> Not only that, I can endure the paint for seven, for two or three turns. Now I'm in my one last turn left, and I can't do anything with him because he's Lewis the Blind. I can't do shit with him. Now to tell you, the opening has nothing in this, like no, no backstory, but it's just leading up to there. This this game is just there. Welcome to Sunny. This is a combat strategy game, but you are now in roaming mode. Here you may customize your character and prepare him for the next battle. The challenge is to fight until you reach the boss, and find a way to beat him so that you may have to move into the next zone. Start the next fight by pressing the red icon on the screen after you close this window. Have fun! 
yeah, like I said, pretty much there's no story into there. So you have to click on the next battle if you want to battle. There's inventory, there's abilities to check in here. With both inventory and abilities, you just to check. Save game, every options just change them and respec because I want to change my abilities, but I have to do this five times a day. Just checking on options just because abilities all I have to do is level up and choose one of these just for the lower bottom yet. Yeah. Going on the next battle and yeah, I'm gonna fight these assholes. Well, this asshole actually. The meta B, he's already level two, I'm in level one, so I'm just these things. I reckon they used to be the ship's crew, but not anymore. What's happened to them? It's complicated, and we're running out of time. I'll tell you everything when we're off this ship. Yeah, he will tell you everything. Yet, there was no introduction opening about it. But, we don't know for sure. Well, I know for sure, but you don't know for sure what happened there. The game will tell you uh, what it was. Like, later in the game. I already leveled up to level 2, and I already have some money and an experience gain. Now, you have the abilities upgrades available. Click here to learn how to use them. Alright. You can, well, I don't want to read this, but you know what I'm, yeah, it just shows you these things on how to do so. I'm going to increase, in, I'm going to increase vitality because, well, strength I can de de increase, but I would like to increase my vitality more. And attri uh, abilities, I can choose one of these, but they have to start in the in the in the top first because if you start on the top while you're leveling up well you can do such these things actually but you have to remember the level that you're up to right now you can choose one for each level and all of these can come down to every single level upgrade Every single attribute up or love ability upgrade you can come into. This one's a level three, but I can't do anything because it's level three and I kind of need this. But this one is also level three and I kind of need this because I like to kill and stuff. But not just yet because, well, I'd like to go for smash first because it's a level two and I could pretty much easily kill people with that thing or. I want aggression first because my level's not high enough. So I'd rather go for Smash. Because not only that, I can equip Smash more. Well, you can move this eight times on the action bar, which is pretty neat. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Having Smash. Well, having Smash is like one of the noobest things you can ever do. So having Smash. Well, you're. You're about you were able to upgrade the character just not because you have leveled up. Deciding which attributes and ab abilities you want is very important, so as they make a big difference later on in this game. You must also remember to equip your new abilities from your ability pool in your combat action bar, or you won't be able to use them. So yeah, that's pretty much the uh, twist or the point of this game. So, I better not quit, unless if I die for some reason. Unless if I make some mistakes, I'd rather quit and do that shit. And I'm going to the item store just to buy whatever I want. So, all I'm going to do is buy myself a t-shirt, which I'm going to look at my stuff first. And I already bought myself a t-shirt. Because I need some defense for that You're shit. Outnumbered. Don't worry, though. You have the strongest weapon. This pipe? No, I'm talking about your brain. Think. Attack the weakest one first, and defend yourself when you can. Which is this one over here, because it's level 1. And this one's pissed off. This one's pissed off too, so I can probably use the smash button right about now. Now see, if I didn't use suppression, he takes 36 away from me. But that doesn't really matter, because I have a lot of life anyways. I already killed this piece of shit because I need to. All the dropped a uh, uh, dropping items. 
The last enemy you fall dropped some items. Items are good for two things. You can equip them for your character because you need them. Well, just for uh, uh, stats to increase and stuff. I'm gonna sell well not, well not never ever put your shoes on these X things. This is the leading items here, so I rather sell the items. Selling them is a good thing because you can get money out of it. The green one in front of us is toxic. Watch out for its poison. But you're blind. How do you even know? Don't get all technical on me, Sonny. Just be glad I told you. Yeah, don't ask him questions, asshole. Even though Louis the Blind is around like level 99, he's still pretty much useless. Because he's there to help you and this help you escape and attack and stuff. He was gonna poison me because it's a fucking zombie. Then I'm gonna attack this meta B because I don't know why they call it meta B. I wouldn't know what the fuck that is actually. I did not get leveled up, but I'm actually gonna go over there and attack the zombies, two of them. And I didn't get poisoned, I will get poisoned, which I just did. Yeah, I just got poisoned so bad. It just uh, adds damage to 33% equal to my strength. My strength is just like my defense, vitality is just for health and stuff. So I'm gonna give him a quick strike because I don't want to waste my, uh, my blue man. The blue mana that I have right now. So I'm just gonna kill this fucking zombie. Well, try to. Just do some more smashes or some suppression. Because that thing is decreasing my health away and I'm just like, Hey, I'm about to die. No, I'm not. I'm, I have a lot of life left, so I just use suppression. Just to suppress myself. Cause that's a thing. And I killed the zombie and he didn't drop any items for me. So, all I can do is I have to get the... Well, right now I can increase my vitality. I don't have to, or I can increase my strength, which is a good possibility. But making sure I can get the iron skin or regression. But whichever one I'm gonna go for, I would think having iron skin is a good idea just to increase my health. But I'd rather stick around for regression because I can increase my attack for the next bosses. Well, the, this, this next fight I'm gonna have, but whichever one I'm gonna do. I increase my strength because I kinda do need some strong uh, things to back myself up. I'm gonna buy myself a crowbar just because I'm, I'm kind of impatient. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like buy the axe or anything. So I'm just checking which which ones that I don't need. So I'm, I'm, I might not need the pipe, but I'm gonna buy the fucking crowbar because it's actually cheaper. Even though the, the axe is a bit stronger, it doesn't make any sense. Well, it, it does make sense by strength wise, but the money wise is just meh. Not, not good for me. So I'm going to the next battle and I'm gonna fight. Hey, I can see the speedboat hanger. It's up ahead. Two, um, two meta bees and a zombie, so... I'm gonna choose which one I'm gonna fight first, because this zombie already has like fucking 75 health. I'm gonna be a bit pissed off right now, I'm raging. It's my magic and strength has been increased, but they don't. I don't know what percentage I'm gonna have for. I'm gonna get attacked right now, because... Yeah, I'm attacked is one of the not good things about this game. <laughs> I'm smash you. Because I'm a fucking crowbar. And you already did. And I'm about to and I'm Thinking about to die. Sonny. It must be the rescue team. Smashy smashy. I don't know why the fucking zombies have a club. Why? Why do zombies have a club and attack you just like that? That's 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 pretty funny though. 
I don't want to sell this scroll bar because I wouldn't have enough for this boss battle that's about to come up just like that. Finally, you're here. I thought we'd die on this forsaken ship. Hang them out, boys. We don't need any witnesses. What? One fucking life and then you just died. Okay. Lewis, this is not a good day to be shooting my friends. Hey, look at that. That one just talked. So what? That thing is no different from the rest of them. Just do your job, soldier. Well, that's f fucked up and discriminated. This is ZP8. This is ZPCI Assault, ZPCI Captain, and ZPCI Medic. So, I'd rather be pissed off killing that medic because that thing will be annoying as fuck. Just letting you know that I'm gonna kill this medic, right? He can't heal himself because I, I don't know why he can't heal himself. All I have to do is just fucking kill this medic. Because if I try to kill anyone else, this, this asshole will heal almost everyone. The next one is the assault because this thing is annoying the fuck out of me. And then this captain has no choice but to die from me. I'm already stunned. This unit is stunned, so I'm shocked. So I can't really do anything. I'm still pissed off. All I have to do is cl click on that metal button or that thing. I'm gonna have to keep on doing some quick strikes before I do either aggression or smash. So I can actually do aggression right now. If I can go to it, a pissed off mode. Stop attacking me and then I'm gonna go to smash. And he's dead already. See, I didn't need the fucking axe, I needed the crowbar just to be a bit impatient and stuff. Uh, Sonny, take this. Lewis, I, I don't know what to do or where to go. I don't remember anything. Just take it, please. What is it? It's a tape. Maybe it can help you. Lewis, I don't need this. I, I need to remember. I need to... <sighs> that the, the acting was so horrible, I couldn't even do anything about it. I can't complain, the voice acting was horrible. The, 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 uh, the sighs and the deaths and shit were just too bad. Now I'm in the map zone right now, I'm, I'm in the ship. Now I can go to uh, Ish, Ishiguro Rest, Ghost Beach. And I could go to the store and sell this crowbar and probably replace this with my CPCI, CPCI blade. There we go. It's gonna be a little bit tough to remember or say the fucking CPCI. And there's that little ghost fisherman over there and the boat burning. They have to burn the boat because... You know, shit's, shit's been fucked up over there. I'm gonna play a bit more of Sunny for you guys because I actually wanted to show you how good this game is. For me, actually. It's actually one of those RPG games that requires you know, skill and brain thinking. It's more of a, tac well, it's, it's a tactical thing that you guys do love to play. All those RPG lovers out there, you might want... I recommend you play this game just for the fun of it and for the story. Yet, uh, the sequels, there's Sunny 2 and there's not a Sunny 3 just yet. So, your mission is to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Keep watching, keep subscribing, and stay awesome. Now, I'm 4th Desirex, and I'm out.